My name's Kelsey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about some of the fundamentals of espresso. Uh, so dialing in or making coffee taste good is something that baristas do every morning. And it's something that's actually quite easy to achieve. Uh, making a good cup of coffee when you're working with a good product is really easy and we're going to talk about how to achieve that. Uh, so first of all, we're going to talk about brew ratio. And then the next section, we're going to look at uh, extraction and setting the grind. So a brew ratio, what is it? It's basically a recipe for baristas. Uh, so when you're cooking, uh, you follow a recipe. And if you have good quality ingredients, say you're making brownies and you've got really, really high quality premium chocolate, which you're snacking on, and you've got some great butter, and you follow a good, reliable recipe, you're going to come out with an excellent product at the end, some tasty brownies. Well, it's the exact same for coffee. If you've got good quality products, so you've got well-roasted coffee and you've got a good quality water and you follow a good recipe, you're going to come up with a tasty espresso. Uh, so this recipe, it's called the brew ratio. And a brew ratio is just a relationship. It's the relationship between the ground coffee we put in the basket, uh, so weighed in grams, and the espresso liquor that we get out. So again, weighed in grams. So we're using scales at both ends. Uh, so we use 20 gram VST baskets, so ours are based off a 20 gram in. So the brew ratio for a double espresso is one to two. Super simple maths. We're putting 20 grams of ground coffee in the basket and we're weighing out 40 grams of espresso. Say you wanted to pull a double ristretto, the maths gets even easier. It's a one to one relationship. 20 grams in, 20 grams out. So once again, for a double espresso, one to two, 20 grams in, 40 grams out. For a double ristretto, one to one, 20 grams in, 20 grams out. Sounds simple, right? What's really important though is that this is achieved in the desired time. So next time when you join me back on the vlog, we're going to talk about the right time for your brew ratio. See you then.